morning and welcome to Girl Scout News at 9. I'm Alice Benefiel and today we will explore the wonderful world of Girl Scout cookies to find out just where all that cookie money goes. With me here today is Trish Hemingway, Director of Product Programs for Girl Scouts of West Central Florida. Tell us Trish, where does all that cookie money go? Thanks for having me on your show, Alice. 100% of the proceeds from the product programs, both fall and cookies, stay here in the Girl Scouts of West Central Florida Council. Trish, can you explain what you mean when you say 100% of the proceeds stay within the council? Sure. First, we pay for the cost of the cookies to our cookie vendor, which is about 27% of the total product cost. The rest is what we call proceeds, and 100% stays within Girl Scouts of West Central Florida Council. Girls keep their portion in terms of troop proceeds in their troop bank accounts, and approximately 65% of our operating budget comes from funds earned in the product programs. It's great that the proceeds stay within the council. How does GSWCF spend those funds? 21% of total proceeds go back to the troops and girls in the form of troop proceeds, girl rewards, troop and service unit bonuses and proceeds. And the portion of funds not given as proceeds to the girls and troops and service units cover a variety of program related expenses, including the direct cost of the cookies themselves from Little Brownie Bakers, product program volunteer training and council staffing. And after covering these program costs, remaining funds are critical towards maintenance and improvements at our Girl Scout camps, providing quality girl programming and adult learning opportunities, enhanced technology and staff to provide support to all members, general membership resources, and so much more. And it's important to remember that the proceeds stay local. Girl Scouts USA does not receive funding from the council product programs. You said 21% of proceeds went back to troops and girls. How much money did troops earn in the 2019 cookie program? In 2019, troops earned $1,443,343 in troop proceeds. Wow, that's incredible. What did the troops do with all that money? Girls set goals and decide how they would like to spend their proceeds. The funds can help offset out-of-pocket costs for families. And they help use the funds to participate in programs to build skills and earn badges and complete a Girl Scout journey. They can also use the funds to support themselves through earning one of the high awards, such as the bronze, silver, or gold awards. And girls use funds to take trips, such as camping and other outings, and do community service projects. You said service units receive proceeds from the cookie program. Can you explain some more? Beginning with the 2020 cookie program, we're excited to provide service units with a service unit proceed of five cents for every box sold by girls and troops in their service unit. Service units decide how to use these funds, but we suggest using them to support initiatives for the members of the service unit from funding encampment costs to providing startup money for new troop leaders and to support community and service unit events. To learn more about how the cookie crumbles, visit gswcf.org. Trish, thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Girl Scout News at Nine.